the what is a CRM? So before going to the we are going to start with the ERP. What is the ERP? Yeah. So enterprise resource planning, right? ERP means enterprise resource planning. So what is mean by enterprise? Enterprise is a company. Resource means it, it may be a man, human resource. It may be a buildings. It may be a equipment, whatever it is. Planning, OK, so how efficiently you are using your company resources? OK, resources means it's not only human being. It, there will be other other things also like a buildings, equipments, other things. How effectively you are using your resources and how much productivity you are getting. Right, so. This will give the ERP tool help us. OK. In the, within the ERP, there is lot of almost lot of models we have. OK, so the models so which we will useful for us is a CRM. CRM is the one of the ERP module. So ERP is not a. It's kind of a methodology. OK, they will define a structure, structure, structure wise. But within the ERP methodology, the main concepts I can say it's a one of the is a CRM. And we have a finance. OK, finance, HR, accounts. OK, and we have a SEM supply chain management. OK, we have a lot of lot of like each one is a module. And again, the CRM, the full form of the CRM is. Customer relationship management. OK, customer relationship management. Right, so to support this CRM in the market, we have a lot of CRM products. So like a, we have a Salesforce. Salesforce. Dynamics. Dynamics 365 CRM. OK, and SAP. CRM. We have a Joho. Sugar CRM. Okay, HubSpot. So the, these all are like a Joho. We have a CRM. OK, so these all are products. The core concept is that CRM. Right, core concept is the CRM. Within the CRM, by using this concept, these are the products is built. Okay, these all are the products they have built. Each company they have taken that thesis and they have built their own software. So Salesforce they have built on the Oracle database on the Java, Dynamics 365 it's from Microsoft. So Microsoft uses the JavaScript, jQuery, and .NET as the as the base. OK, so like that, like a, they have like a other products they have. They have developed it. OK, so now within the Dynamics CRM. So now now we are focusing on the Dynamics CRM, right? So why compared to the other products? Why now nowadays the Microsoft uh, all the people they are focusing on the Dynamics 365? Why? Because it's easy to compatible with the other Microsoft products. Okay, so so this is clear, right? So Microsoft 365 CRM is compatible with the other 
products easily you can integrate and it's a matured solution like a mature solution means it's it can easily connect with the any system by now nowadays we have power automates and we have a power apps easily we can you can integrate with your com your components and other one is like a accessibility insights easily you can see what was like a, with the you can easily see like you can log in and you can see the reports and you can see the dashboards easily you can get generated the reports okay the advanced find or, or whatever the features we have and other thing adaptability so you can like a microsoft introduces the low code and no code policy low code or no code okay so low code means very very minimal features we will write the coding no code means there is some no, nowadays no, no one we are not doing some coding not not doing like a heavy coding these days we are not doing a heavy plugins big big uh, uh, integrations this all the things we replace with the power automate and with the business roles with the uh, with the, with the logic apps these these things with from microsoft okay so that is like easily adaptability and it is usually you can create your own apps like you don't want the big you don't have a big complexity big complex functionality you just you need a user entry form you can just go to the dynamics 365 and create your model driven app or canvas app it is even you you don't be a developer right easily uh, even functional guy or business admin whoever is there they can easily go there and they can create their own app how they want it or they can design it it just they need a minimal knowledge of the tool how to drag and drop how to keep the fields on the form like a field creation you you are you are not writing any code there right you just drag and drop or you are creating your things in the ui right that that's like a easily you can adaptable with the business things and easy migration so let's say oh you want to feature currently you are using on premise on premise of the dynamic crm you can easily migrate one version to another version or in in the cloud version you no need to do anything everything minus microsoft will be doing that migration one version to another version like in other software side where you you are in a one version of software when you want to move to the next version of the software okay let's say for example you are earlier you are using a gmail with the limited version now gmail is continuously upgrading so always you will you don't feel that you will going to use the new features in the back end my google itself it's it's migrating that ui all the things but whereas in the some softwares you are in a version 1 until unless you you have to migrate that software to the version 2 then only you will get a new things but in the dynamics 365 micro, since in the cloud microsoft is already doing that so that there will be less burden to to the management side okay it's just after after an, migrating to new version you might be new, do sanity testing if small small fixes maybe it's broken you will fix it okay so these are the advantages with the microsoft product and obviously every product has their own disadvantages also that every product it's not a super extreme product right their own they have their own every product they has their their own limitations their own uh, problems the first problem with the dynamics 365 if you observe this will be the uh performance we will see like a lot of performance issues if your database is increasing or your, your customizations is increasing uh recently we are seeing like a little bit performance issues okay and cost is also it's like a little bit high compared to the other one it, the cost is a little bit high okay 
and the other 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 disadvantage we have okay lack of transparency so microsoft they will be like a uh, sometimes they will be installing the patches on, on top of it on, and they'll do a lot of things in the back end that that will be some, sometimes automatically it will do that will be like a little bit uh, inconsistency with the product also when we are using right so the complexity the complexity of the tool for doing a development it will be easy for onboarding the new people and new things that they make it the people to use right so they they should do the trainings proper trainings proper user manuals we have to prepare it okay so these are the major disadvantages with the dynamics 365 okay so the, the, these are the things it's like a very basic level we are going to uh, discuss okay so next topic we will we'll start with the uh, customizations so i'm directly jumping into the customization side okay because you guys are aware of the functional side you already done lot of things 